In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the Zapier pricing and the plans. So, this is straight on the website, as you can see. They have two options, pay monthly, pay yearly. If you pay yearly, it's going to be cheaper. You save 33%, but you have to pay for it all in one. It's billed annually. So, let's go for the paid monthly option. So, the free one, you get five zaps, 15-minute update time, which means how often Zapier checks new data. You get single step zaps, no code editor, drafts, copy and paste steps, duplicate, transfer data, subfolders. Pretty basic, you get 100 tasks a month, which is not a lot. For the starter one, this is multi-step automation, it's, it's pretty good. There's not many tasks, you can upgrade though for one, uh, to 1.5k for $58. You get 20 zaps, 15 minute update time, same as this, but you get multi-step zaps. The only other option is you get filters, you get some uh, webhook stuff. And you get premium apps as well, which is pretty cool. Professional, this is where it gets very expensive. There's some plans that go up to $5,000 here. You get two minute update time, which is really good if you do something that's like slightly time critical. You got unlimited zaps. Um, and you get a lot more features, but that those are the main benefits is like this stuff. Team is very basically the same as this. You get some extra stuff. You get custom logic paths. Pretty similar, and then company, no one's ever going to need this, really, unless you're a fat company, but it's very unlikely you need it. I'm going to say if you're just a regular user, I would stick with the starter one. Um, you're probably not going to need much more. Even the free one can do, but it's very limited. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe, and comment down below that helped. Thanks for watching.